about attention to detail. Uh, you may or may not notice, uh, you know, boss baby here pointing to the, the red rock instead of all, you know. So that's kind of my topic and a couple of things that kind of, you know, brought to my attention to maybe redo this one. Because uh, attention to detail can, uh, or lack of attention can cause a lot of things. Uh, you know, at a job, it can cause you to lose your job. Um, you know, whether it be something to do with numbers um, or something else, uh, you know. So, uh, those of you that have kids or grandkids, or maybe you've seen the movie Sing, and the difference between that 100,000 and maybe what was supposed to be 8,000, uh, you know, just attention to detail. Uh, the Waldo series. Uh, you know, a lot of people make the point of, oh, it's about finding Waldo. Where is Waldo? You know, Waldo's up there, like in the top. Um, I'll bring you up there, about up there. But the other thing about the Waldo series is all the detail that goes into uh, all these other illustrations in here. So I mean, there's lots of detail. And you, uh, somebody's gonna have an MBA, whatever job you're doing, whether it's your own business or for somebody else, you know, you're gonna have to pay attention to details. Uh, one of the things uh, that could be an issue for you, it might be grammar. So I make comments sometimes about grammar, uh, you know, about paragraphs, sentences, bullet comments. Uh, you know, a common rule of paragraphs is there's supposed to be three to five sentences talking about one particular topic within a, you know, a subtopic of a topic. Uh, sentences uh, are supposed to be complete sentences. Uh, sometimes I'll see sentences that are more like a bullet comment than a sentence. Uh, you know, these are the type of things that will catch people's attention in the wrong way when you're like, you know, you get a job because you have an MBA and or you're going to start your own business and you, you turn in a proposal to the uh, uh, small business administration or to the bank that's going to give you the money and they're reading, you know, sixth grade English instead of graduate level English. All right. So that's, you know, why I kind of harp on this topic. Um, you know, so like here's an example of a sentence, but when this happened, things go wrong. Um, you know, the other thing about uh, graduate level work and just, you know, business in general is every sentence should explain what it's talking about. You know, a reader shouldn't have to be guessing, you know, what, what this is. What, you know, plus you don't start a sentence with the word but. Um, you know, another example is when they do this, it can produce better results. Well. Uh, you know, you also generally don't start sentences when, and you know, what is this? You know, what are we talking about? And you know, what are the results we're talking about? So it's just that, you know, it's paying attention to grammar and again, attention to detail. Uh, you know, if something like when in your writings, if somebody knows what you're talking about when they just pull out one paragraph or one sentence. Uh, the other thing is, you know, sometimes I'll see these one page long paragraphs, uh, you know, so it's just rambling along instead of, you know, having some sort of structure to it. All right. Uh, so attention to detail uh, is a habit you have to develop. It's just like the grammar, you have to work on it. You must develop the habits. Uh, use the runners you always as the examples because they go out every day regardless of the weather. It's a habit, a routine. And, you know, so we have to have these, you know, positive routines that we do. I also got this little comment here about uh, past behavior is the best predictor of future behavior. Uh, so generally, uh, over the years, you know, I see students who do change throughout the uh, throughout a program. I see some that will not change, and it, you know, so uh, bosses can predict who does different types of work, and uh, you know what. But you can change behavior. You can change the way you do things. If you got negative behaviors, negative habits can't change those um, you know when employers or be employers or customers you know when they're paying for a service a product or they hire you to do a job uh, they're not paying you uh, for the 30 minutes it takes to do a task all right you know you get a task done in 30 minutes okay great but that's not what they're paying you for they are paying you for the years it took to be able to do that task in 30 minutes and to do it with detail and you know accuracy so uh, that's the point there uh, so you need to develop positive habits not negative habits have self-discipline self-management the willpower focus and just attention to detail